All right, it is March the 20th, 2023. And I'm out here, it's afternoon here in South Georgia. It was almost freezing this morning here. Well, it actually was. So that the old maxim that you don't have frost after March 15th was incorrect this year. It's the 20th and there was actually a, enough frost that it bit the leaves on some of the uh, trees. But uh, not enough to destroy any crops or anything like that. I'm out here with my Howard Hill 50 pound Wesley Special Bow that I have named Olive Oil. Olive oil stands for the Holy Spirit of God. I'm going to shoot a few times and then if something comes to my mind to talk about, I will talk about it. Let me get my hat back out of the way. All right, let's just see what I can do here. I've got a target about 15 to 20 yards away there on the hay bale. Let's see if I can hold it together. That was a hit. Alright Debbie, why don't you focus on that target up there. Let's, let's let them look at the target instead of looking at my face here. That's two hits. I'm shooting 29 inch Black Eagle 500 spined arrows Oh, I missed that one. I jerked a little bit. turn back here. All right, I got one more, but I'm going to hold that. Let me tell you what I want to talk about here. I am a follower of Yeshua the Messiah, also known as Jesus Christ. And I have been for quite a few years. But here, as I get older, I have been convicted by one of the things that Jesus said which is if you love me feed my sheep and if you declare my name before men I will declare your name before the Father so that's what I'm trying to do declare his name Yeshua means the Savior Jesus means the same thing but it is in a it's a transliteration of a transliteration but the word is Yeshua a lot of people say Yeshua Jesus same man and to look for his lost sheep is really what the job is that he gave his followers that wanted to try to follow his instructions so I'm reaching out to you guys out there and gals that ultimately do belong to him but you are lost I'm assuming you've heard about him I'm assuming that you've heard that he is the Savior of the world I'm assuming that you've heard that he can give you eternal life I'm assuming that you've heard that He can give you joy. He can give you peace. He said, follow me. Now I am inviting you to follow Him. On His 
behalf I am saying come all you who are heavily laden and he will give you rest unto your soul that's really what everybody wants you may be on drugs you may be on alcohol you may be caught up in some sort of a perversion that you know is wrong and brings you no joy you may be an upstanding citizen that on the outside appears to be perfectly fine but inside you've got a huge hole in your heart and you're not happy and the older you get the more unhappy you get and with each passing day we know that our time is one day shorter that we're here on earth I'm asking you I'm urging you I'm encouraging you the time is now the time is now to accept Jesus into your life how do you do it now, I'm going to tell you to do something without giving you some explicit instructions you ask Dear Jesus, please come into my life. I am miserable. I know I'm going down the wrong road. I want to get back to that happy condition that I remember as a child when everything was good. Childlike. He want, that's a childlike joy. You can have it again. The way you do it is ask Him. Yeshua, Jesus, show yourself to me. I want to see you clearly for who you are and I want you to save me. He will do it. I am knocking at your door, He said. He's knocking at your door. Open the door and let Him in. You do that, and he will immediately start working on it. Now, you're not going to be a perfected person the next day, but the work will start, and he will come into your life and begin to change your heart. And after a certain amount of time, you will begin to feel like a different person. You will be born again. When you're born again, though, when you're born the first time, you're a little bitty baby, okay? People, other people have to take care of you. Now, when you're born again as a Christian, you're a little baby being born again. And you have to grow. So you're not going to immediately start out, you know, um, as a mature Christian. But you will be born again. That's how you do it. And I'll tell you another thing. Once you become his child, he becomes your parent. And you know parents whip their children when they need to. He does the same thing. He doesn't whip other people's children. He doesn't whip the devil's children. But he will punish you as you after you come to him. But get, guess what? He is a perfect parent. He has mercy. He loves his children. The punishment that he gives is only going to be as hard as it needs to be to correct you. Not He's not going to beat you because he's mad like many of our parents did. They got frustrated and just beat the stew out of you. That's not the way he works. He only corrects the necessary amount. He's very gentle. All right, I'm asking you to come on instructions from Jesus. Declare his name before men. No matter who you are. This is Gardner Israel signing off.